President Donald Trump is insisting that his declaration of a national emergency to fund his racist border wall is legitimate. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi had a very strong message for her Republican colleagues in Congress on the matter. Is your oath of office to Donald Trump or is it to the Constitution of the United States? You cannot let him undermine your pledge to the Constitution. She, of course, scored an enormous victory when the House itself passed a resolution of disapproval, essentially, an official political statement that very formally sticks two fingers up to the White House by a large majority of 245 votes to 182. However, that now has to make its way to the Senate, where the ruling figure is not a Democrat like Pelosi, but a GOP face, Senate Majority Leader Sen. Mitch McConnell. McConnell has always been a staunch Trump ally. He has always been one figure that the White House could count on to defend the president's policy line at basically all costs, no matter how insane it seemed to straight-thinking people. Now, a huge burden rests on his shoulders as to maintain that reputation of being Trump's man in the Senate, he would effectively have to express his strong support for the national emergency declaration and for the pursued building of the border wall with seized funds by blocking Pelosi's disapproval motion and ensuring a favorable Senate majority. However, when questioned on the matter, he was extremely ambivalent, which is uncharacteristic and will have sent alarm bells ringing right across Washington. That's right. When asked whether he would actually back President Trump on the wall, McConnell essentially said that he was unsure and would have to think about it some more. For Trump, this must be absolutely petrifying. Not only has the entire Washington establishment turned its back on him, but even those key allies he always thought he could rely on are starting to ask questions about how viable what he continues to propose actually is. Donald Trump is barely halfway through his term as President of the United States and leader of the free world, but if things continue the way they are going right now, he cannot possibly have much time left in the Oval Office since it seems that absolutely no one actually wants to keep him there.